Okay, so this video is just going to be looking at the FM synthesis on here. If you hold down Shift Synth, it's going to create a new synth sound that we're set up in. So, first you just press Shift, Synth Mode, change it from Subtractive to FM, okay? Now oscillators 1 and 2 are the carriers. So you'll hear a, synth, a sine wave. Um, what you can still transpose, all the other functions you can't do except for feedback. If you choose feedback here, you'll hear you can change the tone. So over here we have FM mod 1 and 2. So let's just turn it up, see what it does. There's a lot of different values you can do there. Let's uh, attach it to LFO2. Okay, so now if I hold down the note and turn this knob, you'll be able to hear it's affecting the sound there. So I'm going to go in LFO2 actually. Let's change the rate. So you can hear a little bit of changes there. Alright, so let's just leave that as is. Let's go to the next setting here. Now this is going to be able to change the rate here. So I'm going to go over here and just change so you can hear what that's going to do. Let's actually turn off that on the LFO. So all the way down. And now it doesn't, it's not attached to it, so let's just turn up the modulation. So if you want to go on the smaller values to modify more subtle changes, you just move the cursor with this knob. Okay, over here is the second one. This is going to affect carrier two. Um, this also you can um, you can change all the ADSR settings over here, ADSR, uh, if you want it to turn more of like a pluck sound or something like that, you can just turn off the sustain, we're turning up the release, and so as you can hear, it's pretty standard FM sounds, you can get out of here. You can't do a lot of complex FM synthesis on here since there's only two carriers, two modulators. If you did want to, you can change a destination um, of uh, mod 2 for, to carrier or mod 1. So let's just try that, see what that changes. So you can see it changes whatever values I'm using here. So let's just try messing with that a little. Another thing you can do, um, right here, the cutoff and resonance will not be used on um, an FM synth. So, actually, this is um, set to change modulation one here. And then here will be affecting two. Let's actually go in here, change the destination back to carrier so we can hear. Of course, you can add, you know, delay and reverb. Let's 
try transposing this a little. envelope to on the transpose of this. So I'm just going to bring it up into the positive. And then you can go in to envelope two and change the attack to K. Sustain. And then the release. So let's actually bring that up some more to make it affect it more. And do that same thing on here. Let's put that on envelope two as well. well. Let's go in the negative, see what that does. To make this, uh, which is FM mod 2, I'm going to change this rate here. Um, so we'll just attach it to LFO1, for example. <laughs> 